Hello, dear friends. May God bless all of you. May the Holy Spirit right now involve each of you so that you may all comprehend His Holy Word and find out why you have these problems and how you can resolve them because God gives us wisdom. He gives us understanding, comprehension of His Word for this exact reason, in order for us to practice it and obey it. And once we obey this Word, then we harvest the fruit of our obedience. And that's how God works. God doesn't work with magic. God does not do magic. He is God. He is Father. He is the creator of all things. And He gave the rules, the laws that we have to follow, the commandments, the word, so that we who have understanding, we who have comprehension, we are able to absorb this word. We have to apply it to our lives and follow it and obey it. And this is what will bring the positive results, the result of the blessing upon our lives. Pay attention. Yesterday, we had that glorious night vigil the pyjama prayer video, and many people have been sharing their experience. A lot of people have been renewed, revived. A lot of people who were lost found themselves again. Many people who were already on the edge, on the edge, they they renewed themselves, praise God, because that's what Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. It's the word of God. It's not Bishop Macedo, it's not another human being or the universal church, but it's the word of God that works in the lives of those who believe in it and those who practice it. That's how it works. So, it's not because we deserve. No, we don't deserve absolutely anything. We are miserable human beings, worms, full of flaws and mistakes and sins. And God has considered us. He has considered our transparent way. We pray, we ask, O oh Lord, forgive us our sins, deliver us from evil. We've been praying, and God has been listening. God has been answering us. And it's the same with those who were seeking for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and they received Him because they did their part. They were sincere. Above all, they were sincere. And that's where the great secret is. The secret to have a relationship with God is sincerity. Sincerity. This is glorious. David was a man after God's own heart, a sincere man, and therefore God was pleased with him. God is truth. Jesus said, I am the truth. I am the truth. When he promises to give the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. So you see that God is truth. God is truth. He works with the truth. And when a person is not sincere, when a person tries to, let's say, place a barrier in order not to expose themselves fully before God, then it gets difficult. 
they have to open up to be sincere. You know, you know one thing. Do you know why many people were baptized in the Holy Spirit? Do you know why? Because they were sincere. They opened their heart fully. They opened their mouth and spoke to God. And that's why the pyjama prayer vigil, because this vigil is a vigil that allows the person to be alone. There is no music. There is no one else there. It's them and God, God and them. And then they can fully open up and say what's been happening in their life. And you have to prepare yourself. You who still haven't received the Holy Spirit, the seal of God, then prepare yourself for the following pyjama prayer vigil so that you won't waste time. God does not want you to waste any time. And be asking, crying out and supplicating, oh God, give me this, oh God, give me that, and so on and so on. However, within you, there's a lot of mess and rubbish, right? Excuse me. Within the person, they are full of rubbish. How can they receive the Holy Spirit if they are full of rubbish, if they are dirty? Isn't it? It's not possible. Mary, the Virgin Mary, she preserved herself, she kept herself with fear towards God. She lived in purity. She walked in the fear of God. She was a pure woman, and that's why God chose her, because of this purity, because the Holy Spirit is pure. How can the Spirit of God, who is pure, who is the truth, how can He enter a body that is full of dirt and lies and deceit and pretense and hypocrisy? It's not possible. It's not possible. So. Yesterday at 3 a.m., people cleansed themselves and God heard their prayers. So, you, dear friends, however bad of a sinner you might be, however dirty you might be, perhaps your being is full. There is no room to place any rubbish or anything wrong anymore. Perhaps you are rubbish itself. You feel like a rubbish bean. But God gives you the chance for you to get rid of all that and take it all out and say, Oh my God, I've been doing this and that and the other. I am this and that. When there is such behavior when there is this detachment, we can say, this is repentance. And when a person repents, then they confess, and when they confess a hundred percent, then they repent. However, if they leave a bit of rubbish in there deep down and they don't cleanse everything, then nothing happens. So it's pointless to be sincere just halfway. It's either all or nothing. God is truth. God is purity. God is holiness. How can he descend upon a dirty body? He cannot. So the person themselves must remove that. They must expose this to him. Listen, God, I'm like this. I've done this and that. I did the order. Oh, God, forgive me. I repent. When a person is sincere, they don't need to do much or to speak much. They only need to open their heart. Yes, they need to open their soul 
and expose everything because God already knows what the person has within them. And then you may ask, but if he already knows what is within me, why do I have to say it? It's because when you confess, you are repenting. You are giving your step of faith before God. You are speaking to him about everything that you've been and you've done your entire life. Then, obviously, he comes upon you. You don't have to, let's say, you don't have to deserve in order to receive the Holy Spirit. You need to be authentic, transparent. It's the same concept. If you are watching me right now and you met someone and that person tells you everything they are, everything they think, everything they feel, and you as well, you tell them everything that you think, everything that you feel, etc., so you get to know one another. You know who you are dealing with, who you are getting married with, let's put it this way. Yes or no? And this is transparency. That's what marriage is. That's what a true marriage is. Now, if a person knows the other and they only speak about part of their life and they leave the filthy part hidden and then they marry someone who is pure and sincere then it won't work this marriage won't work why because this marriage was not established upon purity there was no transparency a hundred percent from both parties because lies dear friends deceit pretense, hypocrisy, insincerity, sooner or later it will be caught because it's a lie. The devil is the father of all lies, which means that he is the father of deceit, of hypocrisy. He is the father of everything that is bad in this world. You see, for example, I was here meditating about Eve, right? Eve was pure. She was holy, we can say. What happened? She didn't know anything about lies. She didn't know what lie was. She didn't know what pretense and deceit was. None of these things. She only knew the truth. However, she allowed herself to be carried away by the word of the deceiver. She allowed herself to be carried away by the word of the tempter. She allowed herself to be carried away. But then you say, but Bishop, if she didn't know lies or anything, wow, she was deceived. Yes, she was deceived, but she knew the truth. She knew the truth. And the truth that she knew opposed the proposal the devil made. So she fell because she wanted to fall. She was, let's say, led by her eyes, by her lust. I mean, she was carried away. Only the fact that she appreciated, that she looked and appreciated that, then that was it. She was already falling and the devil managed to deceive her. Therefore, dear friends, you know the truth. You know that Jesus is the truth, and you want the spirit of truth. The truth wants to give you the spirit of truth. And if you keep, even if it's just a speck within you that does not combine with the truth, then it's not possible for you to receive the spirit of truth. You have to be transparent, authentic, authentic. You have to be who you are. Oh God, that's who I am. I've done this. I went wrong. I failed. I mean, you have to speak up about everything. Get rid even of the speck. 
if necessary, just blow the speck away so that even the little speck you didn't see will go and that you may have forgotten. Oh my God, he's everything. And you are going to, to see how God will come upon you and fill you because he loves the truth. And he's seeking for people who love the truth, people who want the truth. Because sometimes the person lives in lies, not because they want, but because they were involved in that lie. But they don't want to do that anymore. They are living in that lie, perhaps prostitution, stealing, I mean, everything that is bad. They are doing those things because... They don't have strength to get rid of these things. But when they speak and they confess to God, then they have strength indeed to speak. They, they have power to speak to God. They have authority. They have something to say and say, Lord, I've done this and that happened. When they do that, when they confess, they are repenting. And obviously, the Holy Spirit comes upon them. So get ready for the next pyjama prayer video that we are going to have very soon, okay? May God bless you all, and I see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Actually, I'd like to draw your attention to this Wednesday. This Wednesday, you who want to know the truth, you who want to have a faith that is of the truth, you must hear the word of God because faith doesn't come freely. It doesn't fall from heaven. No, faith comes by hearing the word of God. So tomorrow, come to add something new to your faith. Come to invest in your faith so that you can be strengthened in the truth because faith comes by the knowledge of the truth. And if the person only has knowledge of lies, what will they have? Faith. No, they will have deceit. So tomorrow, you should come to church, to the service, whichever one, in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, in the Temple of Solomon, at 8 p.m. especially, you will you have this opportunity. And if you don't have the Temple of Solomon near you, or if you are not near to the Temple of Solomon, you can go to any universal church of the Kingdom of God. At 8 p.m. or at 7.30 p.m., depending on the time of the service there, but it will be in the evening. Come to hear the word of truth, the word of the truth that brings faith and faith that makes all things possible, including to turn you into a new creation. May God bless you and I see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.